out of uh, Coatesville, out around Phoenixville and Chester County, out in uh, the suburbs, Joe Mascaro going against Steve King from Panama. We also have S.T. Jones against Jaguar, huh? And we have Bulldog Brower meeting uh, Pete Sanchez, Moose Monroe. He's a real bad guy, and he's going opposite the very popular Ted B. DiBiase. We've got uh, Gypsy Rodriguez and Tito Santana. Santana's been here the past two or three months, and I'll tell you, he's gaining a lot of fans in the Philadelphia area. Well, that's okay for a starter. We're going to work into Greg Valentine going against his adversary, as we said, the 15-foot strap match. And his old adversary is the guy who really wants to put him away forever, I think. And that's the very popular in this area and everywhere else that he wrestles, Chief J. Strongbow. Undefeated Jerry Valiant goes against Andre the Giant, the eighth wonder of the world. And then, of course, Bob Backlund taking on John Valiant. Lots of action coming up tonight, fans, and don't go far away. Let's go down to ringside in the ring during the month of September. Not all of it, but those dates that we mentioned. Here is your third bout of the evening here at the Spectrum. We have in the far corner, 235 pounds from Columbia, South America. Ladies and gentlemen, the Colombian Jaguar. In this corner. Well, a handshake by trunks, the Jaguar with our referee. He is tonight. at 200. 42 pounds from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Special Delivery Jones. Jones. This will be one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Your referee, Dusty Falbomer. I noticed the events that uh, the Jaguar even applauded the announcement of the appearance of. S.D. Jones tonight, so... Uh, I think we can look for a scientific match. Uh, we've seen quite a bit of the Jaguar as of late. I think this is his first appearance at the Spectrum. and uh, We may be seeing more of him should he defeat S.D. Jones, who, as of course you know and everyone knows, is a really tough competitor, S.D. is, as well as a fan favorite, especially here in Philadelphia, his hometown. Right. RSD cool as usual, uh, not too disturbed at any preliminary addicts by the Jaguar. To me, the Jaguar is giving up about, what, 30, 40 pounds uh, in weight, perhaps, Vince, although he's no small wrestler himself. No, that's true, but uh, not only is he giving up weight in general, but all of the weight that he is giving up is uh, all power when it comes to SD Jones. He has really put together this fellow. Yes, he is. He's showing uh, his agility, too, tonight. Perhaps, as you say, Vince, it might be a slight bit uh, scientific. I think most of the fans, however, Dick feel that this is Jay Strongbow's type match more than it is Greg Valentine's, but... I don't know about that. I'd look for one heck of a match all the way through. Should be. I saw Valentine. He passed me uh, back in the uh, by the dressing rooms tonight, and he looks in great shape as usual. And one thing you have to give Greg Valentine: he is all competitor. He never gives up. That's right. He bends well, he the rules and sometimes out and out breaks the rules, but uh, he never gives up. He just keeps coming right at you. Well, that's the excitement we find here at the uh, Spectrum or wherever else that Greg Valentine wrestles, that uh, he brings it all to you and won't give up until he's really literally counted out or totally down. Of course, this is the, uh, the third time in the recent months, so to speak, that Valentine and Strongbow will be going at it. But in ringside now, watching the uh, goings-on. <laughs> Nobody uh, near a pin here, just uh, headlocks and... Uh, what can you say? Hasn't been close to a pin yet. Nice trip up, nice kick out by SD, but uh, the Jaguar stays on his feet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Starting to heat up here a little bit. Okay. That Jaguar was taking exception to the uh, kick of SD Jones 
And Jones uh, was not, well, he did appear to be kicking. Uh oh, the Jaguar with a forearm smash. A right hand blocked by Jones, a head blocked by Jones. Jaguar was ready for that. I don't know whether he was putting us on at the beginning when he was handshaking everybody, the referee and S.T. Jones, but uh, that's all forgotten right now. S.T. Jones not too inclined uh, to want to shake hands. Nice headbutt there. Got the uh, got the attention of the Jaguar. It definitely caught his attention. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. Tried a monkey flip. <laughs> Couldn't do it. <laughs> SD says, hey, don't try that with me. I'm too smart. Well, uh, Cole Nelson kind of. Oh, uh, no. Nah. Jones has too much power for That's him. That's right. Last month, he, I beg your pardon, Dick. I was going to say, I didn't think he'd get enough of the hold uh, for the full Nelson. Not on SD Jones with his massive neck muscles and shoulder muscles. Well, they brought him down. Oh, yeah. Not surprising. Not for long. Jones kicking right out. You were going to say? Last month we saw Jones, I think, against Joe Mascara and uh, delivered a series of those hit butts. Mr. Mascara was seeing butterflies for several days thereafter. Had to be. Ooh. Again, it seemed to be uh, heating things up here in this match. A little slap at a face, a missed, a right hand, and Jones, the south ball, lays it in. There's another headbutt. Oh. All right, S.D. Jones is wild-eyed now. Jones, believe it or not, you wouldn't know it to see him in the ring at the moment, but he has been accused many times of uh, not being aggressive enough. But such is not the case tonight, at least not thus far. Seems to be Vince, he has to get super angry for him to really become uh, super aggressive, as we said. In the past, he, he's been accused of that. Fans uh, murmuring here at ringside tonight. Uh oh, Jones <laughs> again last month complained of the same thing. Yeah, a slow count. Joe Mascara on the first match tonight was complaining about a slow count. One of the other uh, referees said, "Come on, let's go faster." When he finally get the count against himself, why uh, he really had a problem. <laughs> I bet he did. Uh, that count was a little fast. I don't know. Or at least it was faster than the previous count. Wouldn't you agree, Dick? <laughs> we're going to we'll take a stopwatch here. One Whether one nights. was too fast or another was too <laughs> slow, I don't know. But it seemed a little faster than yeah. the previous count. Well, I'll tell you, the guy that's always consistent with his count, that's referee Dick Worley. He's always consistent. Yes. Not slow at any time. Get a pin, you better keep it. Well. The shot you see is the shot we see and uh, with our camera, and I don't know that, well, it's sort of a standoff there for a moment. SD's got a little hunk of the, or did uh, have a hunk of the back of the Jaguars outfit. S.D. Jones plays it pretty much straight, though. He, oh, my goodness. Just picked him up and threw him. It's called Welcome to Philadelphia. Nice takedown by the Jaguar. Yeah. Didn't have as much on it as Jones the takedown did earlier, but never listen. Oh! oh! Sunset flip. How's it? No! Oh. Yes, sir. I got him. Tried to wiggle out. Got him. Do it. All right. Jones cannot complain of a uh, slow count there. No. In fact, that, that last count was a little slower. He might have wiggled out because uh, as he was, as the count was made, why he was. It still was tight, no doubt about very it. Very tight. All right, check your screens now. We'll check the preliminary moves before the pin. Here we go now. Over the top goes SD, and here comes the pin. Totally helpless is the Jaguar. One, two. And three. Uh, look at that left uh, shoulder. It's almost up as yeah. the referee's hand went down. The time, ladies and gentlemen, eight minutes, 
29 seconds, your winner, Special Delivery Jones! Rusty Jones gets the dope before the hometown fans.